The elephants have stomped out the equivalent of a vast interstate highway system. It took us past giant teak trees through a thick primordial forest. Andrea has hiked this trail twice a day for nearly 20 years. Where does it go? We could hear something before we could see anything. Suddenly, the trail ended, and right before us was an opening called the Dzanga Clearing, and more than 50 forest elephants. The setting was extraordinary, straight out of Jurassic Park, tranquil, aside from an occasional roar. Andrea, do you remember the very first time you saw this place? Yeah, it was in the late 80s, and I actually slept here. Slept here. Yeah, and I slept on the ground in a tent. And all night, there was this symphony of elephants. And when I woke in the morning, it was like I had landed in paradise. What do you mean, paradise? There's so few places in the world today where animals are not being harassed by people. And this is one of them. It's an exceptional sight. Andrea's own story is pretty amazing, but not nearly as compelling as the insights into elephant behavior her research has revealed especially when it comes to the secret language of elephants. Elephants communicate in a complicated, sophisticated language that scientists are trying to decipher and compile into the world's first elephant dictionary. When we heard that this is all happening, in one of the most magical places on Earth, a remote clearing in Central Africa, where forest elephants, the rarest, most mysterious, and most threatened member of the species congregate, well, we simply had to go.